13 original colonies, but they may be talking of a confederation that we're already party to. Oh. That is outside of here. You see, the, the oh. symbolism, and, and, and actually the Masons were not just talking, I mean, because of the way they constructed everything, they were not talking about political freedom solely. Right, they were talking right. about true freedom, which is never going to be political. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, for a while we started out great, and look at us now. I mean, but that doesn't mean that the holy, the, you know, the holy intention of this nation will not come to fruition. Right, right. Even though our political structure is under great duress, it's about to collapse. I think. Yeah, no, I know what's left. Of it. I'm being nice. Any luck. I don't want to alienate everybody. But anyway, um, yeah, yeah, it's the hell in a handbasket is where it is. But right. But the fact and the religious is, institutions what? too. It's what? I say the religious institutions are teetering at the brink too. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Well, everything and, is. I feel all yeah. our structures are yeah. definitely up for review. But the thing is that the Masons may have been talking about something very different. And they knew it at the time, that they, mm-hmm. even at the inception of this nation, where they were setting it forward to fulfill that destiny, they may have known far greater information. Oh, yes. Than absolutely. I'd never thought of that before, but you're absolutely right. I know, and it makes a lot of sense. I mean, it, it, it does. when uh it clicked with me when I listened to him. Uh, William Henry's quite brilliant and it's worth uh, Yes, I, I've been listening to his interviews a lot more lately. And um, he just did one with Patricia Corey, which was outstanding, too. She's one of our show uh, hosts. Oh, um, yeah? But, All right. Did you hear about the the uh, the uh, chatter about the, the Yemen Stargate? That the all the yeah the, were, yeah right the that. Stargate I've heard a lot about oh, well not a lot but I've heard yes that there's a Stargate there and actually one of the things I read and that made total sense to me was the whole thing of these pirates the Somalian pirates uh huh first of all those guys are out there have you seen any of these Somalian pirates like, they're out there in a putt boat that I know. You know and they're taking I mean this is too ridiculous are they making huge ships stand down. With their little tugboat, uh, crazy. I mean, crazy. I, well, of course, because it isn't seen. happening. The reason yeah. they created that story is to keep everybody out of the Gulf of Aden. Exactly. Exactly. And yeah, you don't want to go there because we're going to be piratized by these guys that look like they couldn't rip off a convenience store. <laughs> you know, <laughs> on a good day. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I mean, it's just. Every time I looked at that, I kept saying, how are they stopping these folks? I mean, I know, and really, I never thought of it or questioned it until that, say, somebody said, well, why else would all these warships from China and Iran yeah, and I, the, there know, America... There are warships everywhere surrounding this, yeah. you know, this whirlpool that has appeared in the Gulf of Aden, and they need yeah. a cover story to yeah. keep everybody up. You know who <laughs> else has a boat, has a ship there? Uh, who? Oh, Blackwater at Z. Oh, they, say oh. The they have their own battleship. Yeah, the Republican Party's meeting, uh, having one of their big meetings at Blackwater. That's oh, inappropriate. Really? Yeah. Well, well, they are. That's out front. That's nice. <laughs> well, they're coming out of the closet, I guess. Yeah, I, I applaud them when they're up front. Yeah. Yeah. At least they're being true to themselves. You yeah, know. So you know, I, that I can deal with. I mean, it's like, yeah, that's, you can see them coming now. Yeah, right. But uh, uh. <laughs> well, then what about all the wonderful technology that we know uh, has been developed and back engineered through Black Projects for sixty years, and the uh, stuff that came over from Project Paperclip and blah blah blah. I mean, we should have free energy by now, and uh, their bases on oh, Mars and on we should have had it over. We should have had it over 50 years ago. And frankly, if Nikola Tesla wasn't shot down by J.P. Morgan, we would have had it back then. We would have That's had it back right. In the, That's right. That's we would have right. had it in the 20s or 30s, you know. But no, he um, had to make a trillion dollars off of it. Yeah, well, J.P. Morgan. That's true. That's the left brain versus the right brain again. Here we go. Yeah, you know, and, like, and here we are still know. dealing with J.P. Morgan yeah. Chase and... 
Chase yes, Manhattan yeah, and the Because they couldn't, group. they couldn't charge for it. So, of right. course, they're not going to let it be broadcast. Exactly. I mean, mm-hmm. people are going to have to wake up and just yank their money out of those places and pull the rug out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, or something. But anyway, yeah, we could have been. We could, and Tesla did say, which is a honor to his consciousness. He did say to J.P. Morgan, he said, "You know, the problem is, you know, you and I together, the great industrialists and the great mind." And he knew that his mind did not come. That someone of his giftedness does not incarnate very often here. You know, he said, "Between us, we could have taken this world ahead." hundreds of years, you know, I mean, yeah. in a leap, in a leap. He said, but he said, the problem is you're a mortal, but I am an immortal. Yeah. And that's what he said to J.P. Morgan. I mean, it's like, he did know what he was doing, you know. Oh. It was J.P. Morgan that didn't know. And when J.P. Morgan finally found out, because he didn't know what Tesla was up to most of the time, oh. because he couldn't understand it. He just knew that it was making him money. Uh uh-huh. But, yeah. So, yeah, we, you know, they've been squelching energy. Because the thing is, it's all about power and control. It's not, a, yeah. you know, I mean, uh, you know, uh, why are we still on fossil fuels? I mean, we could have been out of that oh, way over 50 years ago, you know. And I'm sure that that has some negative impact on the plates because the oil is a lubricant. Like, uh, we have we have blood in our systems to lubricate. Yeah, like blood. And yeah. we've been sucking the oil out. No wonder we're having earthquakes now because the plates are so tight, they're just ready to snap. Mm-hmm. You know, so there's a, it seems like there's a lot of little things falling into place that might just, you know, it might be like uh, that movie V for Vendetta where all the dominoes fall at once. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, well, I, I think they're setting up that way actually right now. I mean, I keep watching it. And I, I, I keep my eyes on the news. And yeah. That's what I have, I have spoken about in some of the articles I wrote. But, um, I, but I'm watching for, for energetics. It is basically what I'm looking for. It's like when are they, uh, you know, when are they cracking, and how many things aren't they accomplishing? And if yeah. you want to know about intervention, you're never going to hear about it on CNN. I mean, they're never oh, going to no. say, oh, no. well, we failed to, you know, destroy a nation today, but because somebody interceded and. You know, I mean, we're not going to get news reports like that ever. But mm-hmm. um, a lot of failed plans are taking place here, and uh, they are losing their grip completely, you know. And it's just a matter of whether they're going to do a scorched earth policy on the way out, which, of course, they're capable yeah. of. And, uh, it, you know, I mean, it's how much damage are we going to sustain before we pull through it, that's all. And my hope, great hope is that we can get through it with very little damage, you know. But who knows? I mean, and that takes people just kind of waking up. And, it, you know, if we, we pulled back our energy from them, they'd be lost at sea. Yeah. And and one of the best way is to be to raise your own vibration and start moving into your heart chakra and not expressing negativity and fear. Yeah. That just yeah, and not making, you know, I, I mean, I have some friends that are highly political, and they look at everything, and you could get one email after another about, look what they're doing now, and look what they're doing, and I think, why don't you stop feeding them? I mean, you know, the thing is, they're not the only gig in town anyway, right? and they certainly are no power compared to to what's coming in here. Right. You know, they're, right. they're just, you know, they're, 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 you know, less than... Athlete's foot. I mean, so it's like they're not the gig, you know. And by constantly focusing on every rotten thing they're up to next, is a way to feed it. You know, it's like yeah, um, I, yeah. But but at the same time, I, I I'm not of the school of thought that you know, we ignore this and pretend it isn't happening and just vibe right. That's a little yeah. very fairy for me. But um, so I do, you know, in other words, I try to keep a balance with that one. Be aware of what they're up to, but I certainly would not, um, don't give them the fear that they, they're asking for fear and homage. Yeah. And that's what cannot give because it's, that, that's, that's to worship a lesser God. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep, I agree with you on that one. Mm-hmm. Well, we only have a couple minutes left, and I wanted you to have time to share whatever you would like to share with the audience, whether it's about the book or your travels or what's next for you, uh, uh, or parting thoughts. Well, yeah, I'm trying to get to Hawaii. That's what that's up. If anyone has a plane and would like to go to Hawaii, I can't stand the idea of that going to an airport. Hi, that's one request. You never know who's out there. You know? And uh, true. Uh, <laughs> no, you don't. I mean, I've learned them a long true. time ago. You never know who's listening. So, um, basically, what I'm doing, I'm going to take some time in Hawaii to really get clear about which direction I need to go in, and I'm, I, I feel like pulling out of here um, is the best thing I can do right now. You know, to 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 just to expand and and get in touch. I am swimming with the whales. There's some like 10,000 in in uh, Maui right now. Oh, that'll um, be wonderful. Yeah, and they're all giving birth, and pretty soon they will be um, they will be leaving for Alaska. So I got to get there sooner than yeah, later. Get there before. Um, um, so that, and then I'm so. swimming with the dolphins. I'm sorry, I'm going to try to avoid swimming with the sharks. That's the only thing I'm. But anyway, that's <laughs> that's my Hawaiian, and I'll be in the company of Max. Oh, that They're was wonderful. Speaking there too, you know. So, well, we'll have um, to keep in touch, and you'll have to let me know how that goes. I definitely will. Yeah. Oh, you'll probably see it on my website. You'll see what. Yeah, it yeah. And if you're interested, we can always do another show about Max. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll <laughs> let you know. I'll, I'll give you a call personally and tell you when when I get back. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Or and just just to see what this one's really about. Um. Because it's a little bit of a mystery to me at the moment. Well, it sounds like fun. I mean, gee. Yeah. If, if, I wish I could go with you. I'll carry your bags. <laughs> <laughs> you never know who's out there. No, you never know who's out there, Lance. Go ahead. Put it down. Just say, okay, you can go too. <laughs> yeah. Wish granted. It's just like the show can run itself, right? And yeah. you can run it from Hawaii anyway, can you? Well, I've got yeah. a good friend in Hawaii. I, I would love to go. Well, mm-hmm. when the time is right, you know, uh, I'm kind of a mm-hmm. recluse and uh, I'm stuck at home here, uh, in my little uh, palace in the mountains. Mm-hmm. Well, and nice. before we go, I want to make sure that uh, everybody knows where to find you. Uh, it's at www.et101.org, and there you yeah, can find... Yeah, it's also or.net, either one. Or.net, and you can find yes, articles right. and announcements and all kinds of fun things and a place to purchase ET101, which is yes. a must-have for everybody. <laughs> Well, Diana, Thanks. I thank you so much for being on the show. It was you're just a pleasure to have on the show and a delight to talk to. And and uh, I wish you were well on your trip to Hawaii. And uh, let's keep in touch. Okay, Lance. Thank you so much. And you're all right. Thanks too. a lot, Diana. I really appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> Good night. And Good night, everybody. Good night.